Well, hey, Trinity UCC. Welcome to Wednesday's Devotion. And this is the devotion for April the 20th. And as always, it's from In Touch Ministries. And the title of our reflection today is Jesus' Gentleness and Humility gives us this perfect example of how to be meek. You know, in a world dominated by power and strength, no one wants to seem weak or easily taken advantage of. You know, our culture is quick to use the label meek for people who seem submissive or unassuming. But God paints a different picture of meekness. One that's strong yet gentle and unselfish and kind. As he was being led to the cross, Jesus didn't argue or demand to be understood, nor did he take advantage of his power as the Son of God. In Philippians 2, verses 6 and 7, it says, Who being the very nature God did not consider equality with God, something to be used to his ad own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in the human likeness. You see, instead, our Savior humbled himself, given his life so that we could become like him. On Father, in Philippians 2, 8, it says, And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. If we look at Romans 8, 29, it says, For those God foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, that he might be the firstborn among many brothers and sisters. And he prayed for the forgiveness of the very people who nailed his body to the cross. Luke 23, th verse 34, Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. As they divided up his clothes by casting lots. Imagine we truly embrace this as our model for meekness. Display grace and humility at all times even when the world around us says we shouldn't. How would life be different? Think about it. What does it mean that Jesus was gentle and humble in the heart? That comes from Matthew eleven twenty nine. 29. It says, Take my yoke upon you. Learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart you will find rest for your souls. For is the kind of gentleness and humility manifest in our relationship with other people? Think about the difference between our culture's definition of meekness, weak and powerless, and the Son of God's sacrifice for us. Does meditating on his example, help you to understand meekness in a new way. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we reflect on the way your son came, the way your son lived, and the way your son sacrificed, humbly, meekly going to the cross, Let us keep that in our minds and our hearts as we go through this life. That's much different than what the world tells us 
or we can see around the world where you have to complain about everything and get your way and you always have something to say about what's happening next. Help us to reflect on your son as an example. In your son's holy name, amen. Until next time, go in God's peace.